Scorpio. So we are ready to do your reading. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to ask how you doing. What is coming into your life that you'll be facing? Uh, the best way to handle it. Whatever it is that the universe needs you to know for your highest good. Of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Uh, what they dealing with. No matter what sign they are or gender, collectively speaking, uh, whether you're currently in touch with them or not, we're going to ask about the person that you're thinking of while watching this video. Uh, what's going on with their life? What's coming towards them and how they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally? Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, please, for Scorpio's highest good. Universe, what is coming towards Scorpio? What will Scorpio be dealing with? Scorpio. Seven of Wands. So there's a lot of chaos going on around you. Uh, uh, people panicking, disagreeing. Um, it's obviously affecting you because it showed up in position one with the judgment card. So whatever is happening uh, in this particular deck, the judgment card has very dark energy. There is something going on uh, where people are being affected in a negative way, are nervous, are uh, distraught. Uh, yeah, this is dark energy showing up here. Let me see what else. So it's affecting you, but you are very wise. Look at this. Ace of Swords. So you see right through people's BS. You see through anything uh 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 smoke and mirror kind of stuff meaning if there's some kind of disinformation going on you see right through it you read people's energy well you read situations well you read other people well <clears throat> you need you read energy well so you know you can tell uh if it's the truth or lies or deception yeah, so whatever is happening that is uh, showing up here as negative influence on people around you, uh, making people uneasy, fighting, disagreeing, nervous, uh, this is happening for a reason. Uh, this is karmic. So people are shifting spiritually. They're learning on a collective level. So this shows collective level involvement meaning all over the world judgment people are waking up to the truth okay judgment and wheel of fortune this is very much karmic meaning it's unfolding the way it's supposed to unfold how it's supposed to unfold when it's supposed to unfold uh, for everyone's higher good meaning learning uh on a soul level, a lot of people are learning. This is, wow, this is sliding out. We're going to pick it. Let's see. Four of Swords. So some of you are feeling you that you need to just withdraw. You see Four of Swords here on top of Seven of Wands. You feel you just need to withdraw from people. Uh, stay away from fights, disagreements not get involved, just be objective, keep to yourself. <clears throat> uh, three of Wands, so you are awaiting to see how it unfolds, what's going to happen. So, yeah, you're trying to see what happens. Beautiful energy, so you find your own peace within yourself. You are wise, Scorpio. You have wisdom, spiritual wisdom, and you understand well that even though there's chaos around you, you have your own peace within you, okay? So you're not trying to let these people uh, drag you into that chaotic negative energy. You know, yeah, you have peace within you. This shows you being secure within yourself independent financially emotionally this is a very good energy to have especially nine of uh, pentacles with uh, nine of cups 
this also shows good karma with money, with finances. So you're very good. You're protected here because you have good karma. So, wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of people showing up here are uh, spying on each other. Um, uh, a lot of bickering going on. So the best thing you can do is to keep away from all that drama as much as you can. Your soulmate is showing up here. I don't know what side they are. It will vary for each of you. But they're showing up here as concerned for your safety. They're concerned for you. Uh, they're keeping tabs on you. They're spying on you, keeping tabs on you to make sure you're okay. But they're showing up here as king of swords, very discerning, very analytical, strategic, very careful. Yeah. There's a lot of misinformation being released. Seven of swords, deceit, lies, deception with ace of swords. Yeah, you see, world card next to it. There's a lot of misinformation floating around and people are greatly misunderstanding a lot of stuff. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo and also Taurus showing up here clearly. Major transformation coming to people, to their lives. Whoever it is that's showing up here, as chaotic, confused, scared, scattered, uh, major transformation on a collective level. Death card, unavoidable transformation. This is for the better. Yes, it looks like you're going to be okay, Scorpio, financially, with your family as well showing up here as being okay. Yeah, a lot of people fighting, disagreeing. Uh, confused, misinformed. You showing up here as very grounded, stable. You know what you want, Scorpio. You know what you need to do. Very grounded. You're not allowing this chaos affect you in a negative way. You know that peace is within you, no matter how chaotic the circumstances around you may seem. Uh, but the world card is showing up here. Uh, so a lot of people around the globe are affected. And it's karmic with the Wheel of Fortune. So a lot of people are shifting spiritually, uh, growing spiritually, major uh, changes coming to a lot of people around the world. Everybody's going to be affected. We are all interconnected we are all interconnected uh spiritually all of us even with people that we will never meet in this lifetime that live across the world we are all interconnected yes on a on a collective level this is affecting all of us we are all in this together we need to stay positive as much as possible uh not allow fear uh, drag you down fear is horrible uh, fear just creates more fear the more we concentrate on something uh, the more of that energy we're going to invite into our life yeah so we just have to be smart wise informed and positive as much as possible and just watch out for each other. Let's see your soulmate, no matter what sign they are. Universe, please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good. How is the soulmate of Scorpio doing? What's going on? What's coming towards the soulmate of Scorpio? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio relating to Scorpio emotionally, especially at this time? Look at this. So... They see whatever you see. Uh, there's something that's making them feel uneasy. Look at this dark energy. Uh, they feel very uneasy. They feel major shift coming to all of us. Yeah, so they feeling what you're feeling. Judgment. 
major awakening coming to masses collectively around the globe. And they know it and you know it. Um, this person wants to put in work. This also shows with the judgment they want to reconcile with you. So a lot of you were broken up in this connection. This person wants to reconcile, not only reconcile, they want to put in work. This is beautiful. Six of Pentacles. They want to work on this connection with you. So this person cares for you. Messages coming through. Um, uh, this is a messenger card. Page of Wands. Messages coming through. Yeah, this person has a lot of passion for you. They want a new start, new beginning. And they know that they need to put work in into this connection. Very passionate about you. No matter what sign they are. Universe, please show clarification. How is the soulmate of Scorpio? And what is uh, the soulmate of Scorpio facing, dealing with? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio feeling towards Scorpio at this time? Yeah, you see, I love this. They want to bring solid offer to the table, not empty talk or cheap promises or mind games. This person wants to see you face to face and bring solid offer to the table. Yes, wow. So in a love reading, this means uh, husband, wife material, king of pentacles, provider, somebody who wants lifetime commitment, who wants to bring solid offer to the table pentacles is solid offer not empty talk or cheap promises so they recognize there was a uh, unstable uh, situation between the two of you in the past they don't want to dwell on that energy they want to put it behind them they want new beginning with you leap of faith the full very good energy major arcana uh, they want new beginning with you. They're very passionate about you. They see you as beautiful, attractive, handsome. Yeah. Wow. So they see you as somebody who is very psychic, uh, good with psychic arts, um, intuitive. They feel that you read people well, you read situations, you read energy, you are very connected with the divine. That's how they view you. Yeah, look at this, the world card again. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Uh, so this person could be at a distance from you, could be another state, city, even country. Uh, they travel. They're keeping tabs on you. They're keeping tabs on you. They've been spying on you just to see how you're doing. Um, Four of Cups. They want to <coughs> offer you love. They want to offer you a relationship. They do. Let's see more, more. You see, this person loves you immensely. King of Cups. King of Cups means they're not expressing to you that they love you very deeply. Yeah, this person loves you very deeply. Yeah, look at this. King of Cups combined with Ten of Cups. So this person wants you as lifetime commitment. So if they didn't take you seriously before, now they know your worth. They know your value now. They appreciate you fully now. But now they have to show it through action, right? Proper action. Wow. Look at this heartbreak. Wow. So you guys, in the past, uh, Three of Swords with Eight of Cups. There was a major emotional heartbreak that you guys sustained in this relationship in the past. And you don't want to repeat it. And they don't want to repeat it. So it looks like this person has learned. If they didn't appreciate you before, they appreciate you now. They view you as very independent, uh, self-sufficient, self-reliant, attractive. Some of you may be your own business owners or have some high-paying position somewhere. Uh, they see you as somebody who is not needing anybody. 
uh, they respect you for that. You're very independent. You're not needy or clingy. They don't want to feel this heartbreak. So they've missed you. Whatever it is that happened between the two of you, whether they messed up, you messed up, or both of you messed up, they don't want this to repeat itself. They don't want to bring that energy in. They want to start totally fresh, clean slate. Uh, this is showing how deeply fulfilled they are emotionally when they think of you. Yeah, so this person is trying to grow spiritually. They're doing inner work. Yeah, they want to be victorious in this. They want to uh, succeed. They see us beautiful, attractive, independent. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me clarify this King of Swords again. They're showing up as guarded. Yeah, they want to extend this relationship to you. A cup of love. Yeah, very good intentions towards you. Some of you may be dealing with the Leo here. Uh, the Sun card, the best energy in the whole deck. So they realize that you are their soulmate. Somebody, yeah, wish fulfillment card. Nine of Cups, they want you in their life for life. That's it. They don't want anybody else. So if they were fooling around in the past, running around irresponsibly, immaturely, they sure have learned and they know your worth. They know your value and they don't want to lose you. So this person wants to put in some solid work. But let's see. We're going to go into the extended read and ask... Uh, your soulmate's current true long-term plans and intentions for you at this time. Anything they have up their sleeve, whether they are hiding it on purpose or they don't think you would care to know. But the universe feels you need to be aware of at this time for your highest good. And based on the energies that show up in the reading, we're going to ask at the very end advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle this connection, this soulmate connection at this time, and also uh, whatever it is that showed up as very concerning for you and them as well. Uh, advice on that, your best course of action. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. And thank you so much for your beautiful letters. I'm sending you big hugs.